in this video, I'm going to teach you one of my favorite little defenses in this game for defending any kind of pro set. And when I say pro set, I'm talking about just one receiver on a side. So like, um, it doesn't have to be necessarily like I form pro. It could be strong pro. It could be single back ace. Uh, but basically any pro set in the game, this is a really good defense for it. It's kind of a, a run defense video and a pass defense video all in one. And what we're going to do is we're going to put our flats on default, curl flats on default, hook curls on default as well. So everything's going back to the standard. And we're going to do this out of the Big Nickel Over G defense. If you guys don't know, uh, I just released a brand new Big Nickel Over G defensive ebook. And if you want to get that full defensive ebook, I'm going to put a link in the description to join my Patreon. If you join my Patreon for just 10 bucks, uh, you'll be able to get access to all of my defensive, offensive, and defensive ebooks, including um, including this one as well, uh, the Big Nickel ebook as well. Okay, guys. So I wanted to talk about this. So like like formation like I form pro or strong pro. Okay, and you don't see this a lot, but I will say you do see this some. Um, online you just see like some stretch runs you know they're gonna run the ball they're gonna pass the ball kind of do a little bit of both here so I think the best concept here will be we'll show it out of this out of this um, out of this right here we grab a couple of other plays uh, but basically we're just gonna show you some really 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 good defense uh, for formations like this if you face them online so it's actually really simple um, with the big nickel formation we're actually gonna go ahead and put our slot cornerback package out here and the play that we're going to be utilizing to shut down these formations is cover three match out of the big nickel over G. Uh, I think it's the best coverage for a pro set like this. And uh, it's really going to help you slow this down. So in simple and in the easiest way to explain this, uh, this tip is you're all you're going to do is, I mean, you can show blitz, pinch your line, crash out if you want to, and you're going to use her this guy. So what this is going to do is it's going to give you a, hard box like it's a it's a hard box to run against let me actually grab the stretch so i can show you the run so it's a hard box to run against and again it's really good out of big nickel but you can do this out of other sets but again just the basic cover three match okay so you see here we have it like this what you want to do is you want to when you crash your line out you want to contain and then when they snap the ball you're going to go shoot the run and you're going to click the right joystick and what's going to happen is you'll get basically you'll get sheds um, you'll get better sheds from your runs, uh, from your run D. Now, of course, it's going to be a little hard to shoot the run with two, um, two controllers. But again, I can't stress enough, like, just the simple act of showing Blitz having this box like this is going to deter a lot of people from running the ball. If they're really running the ball a lot and you can't shoot it for whatever reason, like typically with Big Nickel, you can just kind of shoot the run here and then just do a dive tackle, as you can see. Um, but typically what you can also do, let's say you don't want to do that. You want it to be a little safer. Um, you can kind of just scrape, 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 and then just kind of like essentially let the contain and the contain glitch and stuff, let that overtake it. If they're going to run inside on you, it's a little bit easier to stop the run because they're going to be funneling their run right into your, um, your, your user. So you see right here, we're just going to, you know, blow that up. It's really not that open to run inside. Um, the one run that can give this a little bit of trouble would be, I'll show you a zone week here. What you have, what I like about this defense is you have a really strong box. So really you just have to get out here, but as you can see the zone week, the stretches, it's going to be pretty, you know, it's going to be pretty tough to run on this. Now, from a passing perspective, you have to ask yourself, like, what are the routes that they're going to hit me with? Well, really, if you think about it, the number one route you're going to get is you're going to get something like this six, uh, 16 hook or whatever. And what we might get a couple different variations of this. So this variation of it, we're going to get a corner route. I'm going to show you here. We're going to get a flat route to break. We're going to get a um, skinny post. And then on the back side, we're just going to get a check down. So we're going to do like a little out to the back and then do something like this. I'm not going to use her anybody. I just want to show you how the coverage works. But essentially what's going to happen here is that the seam flat defender should take the corner route to the tight end. And then the hook crawl defender will actually shoot that, that fast three. And then on the back side, you have a little bit of an easier time. So you see here, they'll kind of swap off and you'll see how this defends. Now, when we jump into instant replay and just kind of walk through the cover three match defense, what makes this so good is the fact that this guy will carry the corner because he has outside leverage. So he's going to carry that corner route. 
and then this guy is smart enough to say, oh, I gotta take the flat. Now on the back side, you've got this seam flat. So the seam flat doesn't have a number two receiver, so he can be able to free, feel free to handle the back. This guy here should take this guy across. He actually didn't in this. And then this hook curl defender should be squatting on the end route, which he does late, but as you can see. And then your post route on the back side, you have this, this middle third defender, and you're gonna get a double team on the post right here. Really nice, okay? Now, I have talked about this before on my YouTube channel, but I wanna talk about it again. The biggest thing you gotta worry about with these under center formations is some kind of crazy like deep bomb post route. Like it, it really is the biggest thing. So, you know, almost anything like this deep crosser. So they do something like this. And you see how that crosser gets open. Now again, cover three match. Um, this, this should match that, but for whatever reason, sometimes in these under center formations, I've just noticed these outside thirds don't match vertical. So what I like to do to fix this is we're just going to put both outside corners in outside quarter zones and we want to shade inside. So you see those aren't thirds. I'll show you a third. So this is a third. See how it's a little bit bigger and more in, in the middle. And then the quarter, you'll see they're kind of like slanting outside. We're putting them in inside quarters and shading inside. And what this does is it's going to basically kind of top these post routes. So there's really no responsibility for your user. Honestly, you're just covering the middle of the field. But what you'll notice is now that like that, that crossing route is not gonna be as easy to hit. You'll see this match top it really well. Um, I ended up running into the guy, but as you can see, it really does, uh, really does a good job. And what you can expect now is a lot more freedom for your user. You're basically doing this. And even though this looks like there's you know a ton of holes in the middle of the field, there's really not. Um, if the tight end goes vertical, let me just show you real quick. So let's say, let's say just for fun, the tight end goes on a vertical route, we run a wheel, you know, they're trying to really manipulate us here. You'll see here that the, um, the seam flat should take him. Now the, the hook curl did not take the wheel, unfortunately, which is the weirdest thing I think about cover three match sometimes with this. So that's something to kind of monitor. Like you might need to help out on the running back wheel, uh, especially, you know, this, this three. If you put a three receiver hook there, that can kind of honestly typically solve it. So if I just bluff blitz one of my D linemen on that side, a lot of times that can solve um, you know some some crazy concept like this which is very rare that you'll see this but what's so good about this is again you'll see that these quarter zones they will just absolutely bag um, they just absolutely defend that route really really well so this is probably my favorite defense um, like I said for any under center set or pro set where the receivers are outside I really love how these um, these post routes are really not open uh, against this. I'll show you. You don't even have to use them. They literally just get bagged with the quarter. And then the beauty of this is it opens up so much now that you can do on an underneath level. One of the things that I would just advise, um, you know, just just kind of my personal piece of advice for you, is if they're throwing the ball to the flat a lot to the running back, go ahead and drop, you know, maybe this guy into a bluff blitz, for example. And what you'll notice is when they put this guy on, on wheels and stuff, now you got a three rec hook there. And again, you're still not going to really suffer in the run game because the contains plus your user plus the box count are going to be very effective. So anyways, that's the basic premise for cover three match. Why I like it against pro sets and how you can use it to slow down um, some of the better uh, running packages in this game. Thanks for watching the video, and if you want to learn more about my Big Nickel Over G defense, you can get my full defensive ebook by joining my Patreon membership. There's a link in the description if you would like to click on that, and if you want to do that, head on down to the description below and check out the membership.